All right, here's my ABS fix. You can't really see it. I'll put a link at the bottom of the pictures of what it looks like, but that little silver dot in the middle of that, that dot right there is the soldering point of two wires that you need to solder together onto that gold plate coming off the whiteboard. Uh, they come loose for some reason. That's the board. Uh, basically to take it off, you can see the edges look a little rough because you basically score a mark all the way down this side and all the way down that side and then you pry it up and then it breaks off the tab on the bottom. And here's the tab that you get. This is the tab you get. That's what it looks like. On the sides here it's probably a couple millimeters of scoring that you need to do up to about where my the tip of my finger is that's how far you need to cut in with a razor and then it kind of just pops off on the back and then basically this just caps back on like that with some silicone I'd put some tape there to hold it while it dries other than that, yeah, you just solder that, and uh, you're good to go. I'll show you now what my ABS used to look like. And by the way, this is a 99 B5 Quattro. You get three beeps, and then when you let down the e-brake, I have it up for my turbo timer right there. But when you let it down, now it beeps. Okay. And turn off my. Okay. So, um. And if enough of you want a turbo timer video, I can actually show where I connected under the dash. It's pretty pretty easy. Four wires to connect. But then this is what happens when the ABS is connected. Okay, connected. The bottom part's connected. So now the new module, or not new, but soldered. E-brake is down, turbo timer is on, nothing, no beeps, nothing, if I pull e-brake up it goes on, now, if I go back, and take it off, as it has been for however long this car has been not registered. And other people that have problems with brake and light checks, you will pa you will fail every time because of this. And now it beeps. Put the e-brake down. So that's how I know it's working. I'll just need to clear the codes because the ABS light doesn't just go away. And the uh, car will be pretty much ready to go. Brake and light check. And it should pass. Off. Oh. Thanks.